here to help you. Hi friends. So I've been asked a lot on how to get started in cloud or how do I get into cloud computing. And I wanted to share, which I think is the best resource, not only for beginners, but also professionals who are already in the tech industry, but are trying to change their focus more towards cloud. So Gwen, or some of you might know her as GPS, has created this repo called Self-Taught Guide to Cloud Computing, which I think is the best resource so far if you're stuck somewhere or if you're trying to get into cloud computing. So here it is. Here's the repo itself. So you guys can see it has a really structured layout and it also tells you like how much time uh, one section might require. To start, the first we have is Linux and networking essentials and next is learn some scripting and code. So the third one would be the cloud platform. It could be AWS, Azure, GCP, or any other platform. For this, I would say, look at your job market and your like in your region and see how famous or how popular one cloud platform is and which is the most popular one for the job postings in your area and pick according to that if you're a beginner. Um, and then we have some DevOps practices which would take up to four weeks and then these are just some additional resources that might help you guys. And yeah, I, like PRs are welcome on this. Uh, so Gwen already did a really good job, but just to give some finishing touches, I made this mind map, which is basically exactly what is represented here, but a bit in detail on each phase. So as we discussed the phase one, Linux and networking essentials, so it would include Linux, bash scripting, and networking concepts. And with the scripting and programming, you would get to know more about Git, so version control systems and how they work, um, intro to programming, and then some kind of language that you might inter find interesting. So in my case, it's Python. And then with Cloud Platform, as I said, AWS Azure GCP totally depends on what your pick is here, but as I said, look at your job market in your region and see which one is the most popular. And then based on that, take a certification. So let's say you go with Azure, so AZ-104 is a good one. And then similarly, Solutions Architect for AWS. And then make a project, so uh, like a full-fledged project which would involve uh, architecting and then various different cloud computing concepts like load balancing, caching, stuff like that. So Cloud Resume Challenge is really good it's also linked in the repo itself, so make sure to check it out. And then phase four is DevOps. So starting with DevOps principles, so this would involve like definitions for what CICD is and uh, other principles that are good practice. And then implementing CICD would be GitHub Actions or Jenkins or any other tool that, again, is popular in your region. And then we jump into IAC, which is infrastructure as code. For that, I think Gwen went with Terraform because it's cloud agnostic and makes sense. Uh, whereas like you can also learn cloud formation, which is AWS's infrastructure as code. And then Azure ARM or ARM. And then I don't know what is for GCP, but yeah, you get you get what I'm trying to say here. And then the last but not the least is monitoring in the DevOps phase. So yeah, I also uh, made a web version of this. This basically uses GitHub pages and translates whatever is in the readme to an HTML page, basically. I don't remember what theme I used, but yeah. So if you go into phase one, you can see like it's really well structured and also goes over what kind of projects would fall into this. And really good detailed uh, phase here. And this goes for like every phase. And like if you click on phase two programming, this gives you like a really good introduction and then resources that we think are really good and projects that might help you learn that concept in whichever phase you are in. So yeah, I think this is like the best resource because it's so well structured and you're not lost when you're starting out. Um, and this could take, I think, 
almost six to eight months, depending on how much time do you have every day. So yeah, go check it out and hopefully it'll help you with navigating the cloud computing land. And yeah, this was all about in this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.